the earlier video, I started saying, I've got 10 minutes because I need to go pick up the kids. And then I started filming myself and at the end of the video, I realized that I even hit the record button. Really? Here I am again. And now I do have 10 minutes again, same thing, because lunch is almost ready. So let's get started. The idea is I have been composing this piece for a couple of days. It's uh, like two minutes and it needs uh, like a sort of like a finale. What I'm envisioning for this finale is to reuse some of the rhythmic motifs, one of the rhythmic motifs, but melodically to be very contrasting. It's not even gonna be melodic, but I'm not gonna reuse any of the motifs that I've been using. Um, I'm also going to modulate because I wanna create um, kind of like an, an easy feeling and I wanna create contrast to prepare for the next piece. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete everything that I composed. So now, if it feels like I know what I'm doing very much, well, I do know what I'm doing. It's the second time that I'm gonna be doing this. All right, let's get started. I'm gonna compose with headphones today. Not because I want to, like I don't wanna use the speakers or anything like that. It's because then I hide this sexy haircut that I'm rocking. I like it. That was me, by the way. Let's do this. So this is the end of the piece right here. <laughs> So sudden change at multiple levels. So at volume, like sonic level, we're gonna drop it. Um, in terms of key, we're gonna modulate. In terms of, we've got big long notes, loud long notes with brass and all that. And we're gonna drop that and just pulse, like something that's gonna be contrasting. And then we're gonna have some big, long notes hit, sort of like big brums. I think I'm gonna start with those now. Yeah. Very simple, this is the note, the Brahms thing, and this is just a filter. This basically just adjusts the cutoff of the filter. It's just that I'm doing it very fast and I'm using that filter rhythmically kind of thing. All right, the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna make it as wide as possible. So I'm gonna spread this and this knob does that narrow, wide. And then I'm gonna keep it wide, I'm gonna move it left, right, back and forth, back and forth, just to add a little bit of movement. Here you go, here you go, all the curves here. Now I'm gonna have that pulse. But instead of G, which is the note that we have for the drums and the key that we were in in that section earlier, I'm gonna use B flat. Till 51, exactly 51. I'm gonna quantize this and then I'm gonna make a couple of cuts here. Moving it back and forth. And I'm gonna need to cut it at the end. Now I'm gonna add a little bit of background, very soft strings. Uh, maybe we're gonna go for a diminished chord to create that an easy feeling that we were talking about earlier. Something like. I think that Brahms a little bit too loud. So I'm gonna bring it down a little bit. So expression down. Now, arguably, we could say that that Brahms low note, um, maybe it sounds a little bit, or, or, or could remind us to the Inception low brass note, uh, very famous. So I'm gonna try and color it a little bit so it doesn't remind us as much 
to that soundtrack. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Here. So we're gonna do something like. Yeah, something like this. One, two, three, four. Move this a little bit, add a few dynamics. This is modulation, so crossfading between different dynamic layers. This is expression, so basically volume. And this moves it left and right. I'm not gonna move it, but I'm gonna open it a little bit to the left. So here we go. The panning a little bit to the left and then dynamics and volume. All right, those low brums sound great, but they don't sound, it's very synthetic. So I'm gonna add this to make them blend a little bit better with the orchestra. The way this patch works is if I pulse it, if I press the note, it's a short note. With the pedal up, it's a short note. With the pedal down, it's a long note. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold the note, Pedal up, hit again for the out of, for the release of the Brahms note. We're gonna finish this with a little bit of per, well, very much of percussion, which is what we said at the beginning that that is the only motif, it's a sort of like a rhythmic motif that we're gonna be reusing, that we've been using throughout the entire piece. All right, let's do this then. Now lows. Here we go. And we're gonna end this with a very cool trick, which is we're gonna use the soup bomb here, which is this guy here. Very low, but instead of hitting the last one, zatan ta tan ta instead of doing that, what we're gonna do is ta tan ta tan ta, and then I'm gonna bring volume from nothing to so ta 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 type of thing i'm going to add a few timpani hits and we are done So I just quantized it and now I'm gonna cut the third note each time. So that's it. And all together it sounds like this. It's the percussion. Strings, timpani. That's all, thanks for watching. See you tomorrow.